Well, hello, Gemini, and thank you for joining my September 2014 monthly forecast, astrological forecast. And we're just going to take a look at some of the happenings going on right now. You guys have all kinds of things going on right now. And, you know, I, I talk to everybody about the fact that every month, every moon, every cycle, every new moon, every year, every change, it's about you know, a certain level of development and awareness and changes in our life. And, you know, Gemini, you love change. You love change. But at the same time, right now, with the sun in Virgo, which is your ruling planet, Mercury, your mind may just be going 100 miles an hour, especially today, <laughs> if you're watching this video, the new moon is in Virgo. And this is a time to plant seeds. This is a time to really say what do you want to plant for the future? This is a time to really look. And you have, you've had Saturn uh, in Scorpio in your sixth house since October of 2012. And as we speak right now, Saturn and Mars are in conjunction. This only happens, I should say, in conjunction in Scorpio. And this only happens once every 29 years. This specific energy, this very karmic energy, in your daily routine, you know, you've got Saturn showing you the daily routine. You know, is this all there is to life? Is this what I'm just going to keep doing, keep doing, keep doing? Saturn kind of has just been like the taskmaster and just kind of been like, keep going. You know, he's not very emotional. He's not very exciting. He just shows us the reality that we've got to, you know, we've got to get a paycheck and we've got to go to work. And, and now all of a sudden Mars is here. What's Mars doing? Well, Mars is, is, in my opinion, it's almost like he's coming in the final leg of this Saturn race. And Saturn's calling him in, you know, hey, I need a little help. Everybody's getting the nail, a little, a little lackadaisical here. <laughs> and Mars is coming in to really stir some things up. Now, your sixth house can also be hidden enemies. So this could be a place where all of a sudden the mask has been taken off. And, you know, you might have had an idealized view of somebody or a picture of something. And suddenly, that whole situation has just been, um, you know, the mask been taken off. And you're seeing it for what it really is. And you know what? That can be really unsettling. That can be really unsettling. Because even though things may be dysfunctional in our lives, and we don't know it, we don't always know it, we can't always see it, we, we play out these cycles... When, when the veil comes off and we take the rosy colored glasses off and we see it for what it is, it can be really disheartening. And sometimes we don't know what to do with it. We don't know, can we believe in things again? You know, we get disillusioned. But right now, this area of your life is, is really being focused on. And it's important for you to really know yourself. Know yourself. What is it that you need? And be willing to, to take that in and to be really willing to, to understand that these situations teach us very important lessons about ourselves. And if we can look at ourselves, that's the greatest gift of all, if you could actually look at yourself and make changes. Most people spend their whole life focusing on blaming everybody else or reacting to everybody else. So this is an area that you're looking at right now. Um, we've also got the full moon on September 8th in your 10th house. So that is super exciting. The full moon, this is a super moon as well. Now, a full moon gives you that energy in that area for the whole year. It's like a vibration that just carries out behind the scenes throughout the year in your 10th house. And, you know, it's interesting, Gemini, because... Having your 10th house in Pisces, this place of healing, there's a part of you that is desires to heal. You're the storyteller. You know, you're, you're the one that um, brings us the good news. Mercury is the god, the messenger of the gods. So you bring us the message of life. You know how to go get all the information, put it together, and give it to us so that then we can all sort it out. We need you. And yet, if you allow this full moon to really heal you and heal this area of your reputation 
It's coming to wash away the, the negative stuff. Let it heal that area. Let it wash out. It's kind of sometimes like popping a pimple. <laughs> I know I have weird analogies, but you know, it's like, it's like letting all this stuff that's been brewing behind the scenes. It's like, oh, Pisces, that, that full moon in Pisces is here to wash that away and give you a fresh new start. So I say you've got all kinds of awesome things going on. You've got Jupiter and Leo in your third house of communication. So, you know, you're out there. You're out there talking. You're feeling that courage. You're feeling that confidence right now to say things. So you've got a lot you're working on. See, this is the balancing act for this month for you. And I try to remind everybody in the videos, if you have an ascendant, a sun, or moon in Gemini, you will feel these energies. You'll feel these themes playing out in your life. So you're working on a lot of stuff. You're working on how you want to be presented to the world. You know, Mercury is a little sneaky. He is the trickster. And we can get ourselves in trouble, us Virgos and Geminis, getting involved in things, you know. And, and, you know, we spot everything out. So if somebody asks us a question, we just tell them, yeah, yeah, that's the missing piece, you know. And, and so sometimes we have to really look and say, is this beneficial? Is it beneficial to give this information uh, to others? Is it beneficial for me? Sometimes it is, and sometimes it needs to be done, and you're the one to do it. <laughs> but sometimes there's a time to stop and to focus on what's going on for you. Keep your eye in your work situations. Um, there's a lot being revealed there, and there's a lot of opportunity for new beginnings there, for, for a new change in your career. I mean, that's on the table. And this full moon, sit under the full moon. Even if it's just for a few minutes, if you can sit still for a few minutes under this full moon and really get out a pen and paper and really say to yourself, you know, how do I want to be presented, my, my reputation to the world, my career, the things I value, the things that I offer others, whether it's through services or not, it's, it's your vessel to the world. And uh, what changes do I want to make? And, those messages will really come through right now. So we're all in a lot of change, as always. Every month we're in a lot of change, but the good news is that each month brings us to a new place in life, brings us to new awarenesses, brings us to new opportunities. And one decision, one good decision can change our lives radically for the future. So make good decisions right now. Think about what's going on. Watch your back a little bit. Um, and uh, watch your mouth. <laughs> With Jupiter and Leo, you might be a little too bold. So pay attention. Pay attention that you really, again, this is all about Gemini. How do you want to be seen? What story, what story do you want to be told about you? So thank you very much for watching. And if you have, want more from, uh, 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 if, see, the sun, moon, and Mercury is in Virgo right now. And I'm Virgo. So my mind's going really fast. It's hard to get it out as fast as it's going. So you guys may experience that as well right now. We're kind of uh, Mercury, uh, Mercury cousins here. So um, we share that Mercurian energy. Anyway, you can get a hold of me at cowgirlastrologer.com. Um, I just offered a monthly astrology class. I am booked up for the next four classes. But if you are interested in knowing more about my classes for next month and want to get in, get in early and learn how to look at your own chart, learn how to read charts, even if it's just for your daily life. You don't have to want to be a stro an astrologer to know how to read a basic chart. And I'm going to be working uh, on relationship charts, family trees, transits, all kinds of cool stuff. So if you are interested, let me know. And that will help me design the next four weeks and get spot in early. And also you can check out my other services for a reading. I would love to hear from you guys. So have a great September and uh, take it easy. <laughs>